Hey guys, so today we're doing a tutorial on the basic elements of colourings and what you can add to make one. Um, I'm no expert and I honestly use a lot of other people's colourings in my videos, but I'm gonna give this a go. So firstly, we start. I start with um, convolution kernel and I, I don't really understand these settings, I can't explain these to you. So I pretty much just use the preset sharpen and it basically does that to your image and you can see that's the difference. Um, the next major thing that you really need to learn or try and learn, because I don't know it that well, is colour curves. Now I'll try and give you some quick basics. Um, when you've got it on the RGB you're basically going to just do um, light and dark kind of things rather than colours, um, so brightness and contrast. Uh, this end, the top half of it is the highlights. So if you bring it that way, you're going to brighten the highlights, bring it that way, you're going to darken them. Um, and this is the shadows, uh, or the lows in the picture. And then this is, if you double click and you create a point in the middle, you're going to do the mid-tones or the greys in the image. So you're basically brightening the middle, that will be brightening the shadows, and that's basically it. Um, this same goes for... Next thing in colour curves is like, I'm going to leave that there and add another one. So I do I often do them in two different ones. So when I'm adjusting colours, it's the same concept. Uh, bring in this way, up the top, you're adding red to the highlights. If you're doing this, you're taking it away. Um, same here, shadows. This is basically the same thing. And you can do something with each of them. Remember, you can add points so to try and get particular areas of the image to be a certain colour because it all corresponds to um, different sections of it so that's obviously going to be bright and that's going to be the shadows and all that. Um, let's just quickly just give it a bit more blue, bring the shadows down a bit, a bit more colour. Okay that's colour curves. Uh, next thing most people use is colour corrector. I don't understand this so we just click immediately click custom and you get to this screen. This is the exact same concept as colour curves. So here we've got the highlights, there we've got the midtones, and here we've got the lows and the shadows. Um, yeah, so you just put them into the, what colour you want to do it. Let's just play around just so you can see. I don't usually use shadows, I don't really like adding too much colour, but you could probably add a bit of blue here. Uh, then we've got these settings down here. Now, gain, I'm trying to remember. Gain, I think, is highlights. So if you're, you're adding more brightness to the highlights, yeah. Gamma, I think, is mid-tones. This might be backwards, I can't remember. I might have got gain and gamma muddled up. And offset is definitely shadows. So you want to play around. So basically, obviously left, you're going to be darkening it, and right, you're going to be brightening them. Saturation is just adding more colour to the image. So you can take all the colour away, make it black and white, or you can get a bit more orange and... Yeah, so just adding colour to it. That's colour corrector. Colour corrector secondary, I'm trying to learn the basics of, but I don't know that well. Again, click custom. Uh, if you're on Sony Vegas 10 or lower, it will automatically be the screen, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, basically, colour corrector secondary is mostly used for uh, colouring specific parts of the image. So you create a mask of colour. So let's... So if you click this one here, you can pick a colour. So if we pick this blue, and then we click Show Mask, and you see these little white bits, that's basically what it's selected. So to adjust that, we play with these settings here to grab more of the image. So if we... I'm just going to play around until we get something and smooth that out. Maybe more highs. Same here. We can grab more of the image. It's too much, really. Smooth that out. Ooh, too much. And as I will show you, if we say we want to make it pink, I don't know why we would, but we might do. Take that off, and it's gonna start making it pink. I'm not very good at this, as you can see. The colour is not smooth at all. Smooth that out. Um, you'd have to play around till you get it. But that is the concept of colour corrector is that you can um, play with the image and change the colours of things or take all the colour away if that's what you want. Let's see that creates a nice like black and white on that. She doesn't look too bad. Um, so 
yeah, you create a mask by pressing this button and clicking the color and then playing with these settings to adjust how big the mask is. And I'm going to show you. Basically, I think it's the white bit that's being affected in this case, unless we click invert, in which case it will be the other way around. Okay, that's color corrector secondary. What else do we have? Oh, color balance is can't see it right now here we go this is another one oh it's again it's just playing with the colors add more red um, and then you and blue is they all essentially do the same thing which is why it's quite funny really and then you know highlights mid tones or shadows as I've been saying all this time also I'd like to point out now that if you put them in different places it's going to change it differently okay you can't tell with this thing but yeah if you put them on different areas it will look different um what else do people play with i'm gonna say sharpen if you want even more sharpen i used to do this i don't think you need it anymore because look that's that's not nice so it's a, it's an option instead of this um otherwise soft contrast is the things uh, effect people use much as you saw it softened the entire image to adjust that i would usually just play with contrast and stretch range that's usually the two settings I play with on this I don't know it that well um, what else could we play with I think that's it for the main set oh levels yeah basically I've we've already done loads of gamma gain and offset but if you need more um, highlights and shadows contrast adding you could use levels and literally just drag them up and down and see what they do because <laughs> I don't know them that well and make it up as I go along same same with brightness and contrast is just a simpler way of doing it it doesn't I don't think brightness and contrast creates quite a nice as nice effect because you don't have as much control over it uh, but it is an option and then I guess other stylistic things I will point out are things like gradient map um, I don't do this that often but if you do something like this you have obviously add a load of black to the shadows let's bring that down a bit um, and then this is how I used to make colorings no one does this as much anymore but basically create that kind of I can't think what it is what you'd call that but you get a kind of bringing it down you're adding a bit of gray to cover the whole thing and get that kind of effect so that's an option I'm gonna take it back off and what else could you fill light I've used not many people use this I don't think basically just something like that you'd play around with their settings but these are their ooh, my computer doesn't like it these are their options and finally I'm gonna have a quick show you another saturation and adjust is another way to selectively uh, basically do what we've done here we put that as black and white in them as color that's what you can do with saturation and adjust as well I don't know if it's gonna work because we've already kind of done it that you play around with the center to where it is and that is basically my quick basics of colorings tutorial I think that the idea really is to just play with all the settings um, and just see what you like obviously this is not this is no new blue settings there are loads here but I don't really touch them that much because I don't understand it so um, I hope this helps and I hope I haven't talked too fast. If there's any specific one effect that you want me to go through more, just write it down in the comments and I will try and do that or learn it myself and then show you. <laughs> so, yeah. I hope you have a wonderful week.